Hello, good people. It's your girl, Kadu Styles, and I am just relaxing on this Sunday evening. I am about to show you some footage of my doctor's appointment that I went to on Friday. Um, this is regarding my allergies and me having lost my voice for about two months, and the um, ENT doctor was... Um, you know, telling me a little bit about what I was going to have to do, which is going to support more of the videos that you will be seeing that will be addressing my physical health, okay, and, and making some lifestyle changes. Um, okay, yeah, I had a nasal endoscopy. So when you see in the picture, where I was whispering because I was in a doctor's office and I was pulling out my phone. Like, I'm not used to really recording in public places like that takes some getting used to so I was whispering so they didn't come in and like hey are you okay you know something like that but um they had when you see the photo and um I was I had my nose up he had put some type of cotton tissue or something in my nose with some numbing cream to to numb my right nostril before he stuck the uh camera um down my nose so anyhow um <laughs> You can listen and see what he said and what he recommended. And I will say I am on day two of taking my Prilosec. I suck at taking medication, but I want to be well. And so I think about, <laughs> yeah, and I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to get preachy out here. But anyways, um, I want to be well. So I'm going to do what I need to do and I'm going to make some changes so I can be well. Work. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I know. No fun. No fun. But it was worth. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, we definitely can see, well, there's nothing dangerous like, oh my goodness, okay. there's a mass or a pile of nothing like that. Okay. It's super inflamed and there is a reason that you lost your voice and everything. Okay. Even aside from the allergies, the allergies play into it, but tissue that sits kind of right behind your vocal cords and right in front of your swallowing tube really swollen not a little bit but like really swollen and okay. i'm sure that was even worse prior yeah. it means that on top of the allergies there's acid that should be staying down in your stomach that isn't doing a good job of okay. staying down there why some people just have anatomy that the sphincter that's supposed to do a good job of keeping things down maybe is a little loose, or maybe that stomach slips a little bit above the diaphragm, okay. so it doesn't really function like it should. How do we combat that? Usually medicine's targeted at decreasing acid production okay. and stuff. I think there's room for improvement. Do you take anything like that now? I'm supposed to. You're supposed to, so that's yeah. good. At least we know that there's room for improvement, you okay. know? So, I mean, that's better than, well, I'm on two medications and right. I'm still having that much inflammation. Okay. So that's a good thing. I think it's all manageable, to okay. be honest with you. I mean, okay. we certainly don't want you to lose your voice again for two months, you know? Yeah. So I think it's stuff that with the allergy shots and with treating the reflux, the I think we can get it, get it okay. back into control. So we need to get serious about taking it each morning, a little bit before breakfast, okay. about 20 minutes before breakfast. And I want you to kind of get a little bit serious about, man, if there's a lot of tomato based, if there's a lot of fried, if there's a lot of spicy, kind of taking it down a notch a little bit. You know, more than a cup of coffee a day, like, you know, well, I try to limit it. I don't drink coffee. Great. Tea. Tea? Like hot or cold tea? Hot. One cup, multiple cups? Usually like one. That's good. Yeah. You can keep doing that. Sodas, what soda? Grapes. Nice. If I do, it's a ginger ale. Yeah. That's usually when I'm not feeling well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But tomato, that's like that's the one thing that used to break me out a lot uh -huh. too because of my uh -huh. um, allergies. Yeah. Tomato based product. Yes. Uh yeah. And I'm not saying you can never have it, I'm just saying <laughs> cut back. Limit it. Gotcha. Yeah. Allergies play into it, but okay. honestly, the reflux is the bigger reason why you lost your voice. Okay. I mean, you have pretty good anatomy from, like, the extent of, you know, you're not, you know, real overweight or anything like that. The sides of your throat aren't, like, collapsing big okay. time. Your tonsils would actually help, probably, oh. from a breathing at night standpoint. Yeah, I'll stop it.